Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is obviously not my jungle. Uh, if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So we're in the car today because I dragged my little butt out of bed and I put clothes on and I put stuff on my face so that I don't look as tired as I feel, hopefully. <laughs> and I drove all the way to Springfield, although I think we're actually technically past Springfield, but we're very close to it in Massachusetts. I think it's at Wilbraham. I don't even know if that's how you say the town name, but anyway, we're at Home Depot and I've been here before. I remember driving past that big, like, Friendly's building before. I don't know if you guys are from around here and then you know what I'm talking about. Um, we're not far from, like, Holyoke and stuff like that. I don't think either. So, that general area. Okay, I drove myself over here today. We're going to the Home Depot. And then there's a Lowe's, like, basically right next to it here. And, um... <laughs> hopefully they have something you guys because I've been seeing so many people in more of like the southern states finding the new Tycons from Costa Farms finally I love how they announced it and they were like you guys Tycons finally hit and I'm like too bad I already have seven because they were supposed to come out with them like four years ago <laughs> but hey they finally did, and, um, oh, I forgot to put my rings on today. I feel naked. Anyway, let's go, let's go see what they have at the Home Depot here in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Maybe we'll even get lucky, and they won't have copyright music. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, fam, so we are at the Home Depot in... Wilbraham, Massachusetts, I'm pretty sure, close to Springfield, and when I first walk in, they had this table with anthuriums and tons of bromeliads. They also had no shortage of these cute little photonias, pink rex begonia, some baby orchids to the left, and then they had these really adorable little bonsais. I'm not exactly sure what plant this is if you know what it is let me know in the comments below because the little flowers on it were so cute um it kind of looks like a gardenia but i don't know so don't quote me go to the comments i'm sure somebody definitely knows so some cyclamen all your really classic kind of what i usually call grocery store plants this one's fake it's plastic some ficus Aglionema over here. I call this one bamboo. I'm not sure if that's like the proper name for it. I'm sure it has a botanical name, but they're blocking out all the prices because they raised them. They're $15.98 instead of $14.98. So they did go up by a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Some little fiddles here, which are actually a more dwarf variety of the fiddle leaf fig, so they don't get as big. They stay a little bit smaller and more compact so more of the usual stuff some peace lilies and then on the other side of the table we had some more of the same stuff some i think this is purple waffle i thought these were blooms from the plant and then i realized that they just fell off of a plant above it <laughs> so that it's not actually part of the plant they did have this beautiful philodendron brazil hanging out over here these are twenty dollars 19.98 for these hanging baskets more bromeliads like tons and tons of bromeliads there's some calathea in here a couple of cute little ferns i see some little baby rabbit foot ferns in there and then over in the main section we had some cute ficus here i think this is an audrey if i'm not mistaken ficus bangalensis but it feels different and it looks a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing, so I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I am I think it's an Audrey. I don't know. It's not as fuzzy as mine, but some Benjamina over here, nothing exciting. Monstera adansonii, Lemon Lime Maranta, and then on the floor over here we had some big Sansevieria, but this is new, at least for me. I haven't seen this. This is a Philodendron 
Summer Glory, and it's quite large, even though it's looking a little bit beat up. This is a hybrid between the Philodendron Gloriosum and a Philodendron Aerobescens, I think Macaulay's Finale, or one of those similar maroony, kind of like Red Congo, burgundy-ish types in color. So you can see both parents in the plant for sure. You can see the Gloriosum in the veining, and you can see the aerobescens in the emergent leaves. They come in kind of maroon. So there's another one hiding over here that looks better, and it's super cute. I don't remember. I think this one climbs. Gloriosum crawls and aerobescens climbs. So I don't remember, but I think this one climbs. Please do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below though. So $20, you guys, for these huge philodendron. They also have the Jungle Boogie philodendron over here for $19.98. These are robust. They are large and they are the Home Depot brand. So you're only going to find these big philodendron at Home Depot and um, I'm not mad about it. I think they're really beautiful if you have the space for a plant like this. So some really nice Siphonbachia as well, some Dracaena in there. We skipped over that darker philodendron. That's an aerobescens there. There's so many different aerobescens. These Calathea orbifolia are huge too, you guys. This Monstera deliciosa has a beautiful new leaf unfurling. There's some really nice floor plants hiding in here. Now, this was a little bit less than a week ago if you're local, so I apologize. I usually try to turn these around faster for local people, but they might still have a good amount of this stuff if you go and check it out. So this Calathea, I don't know the name of, Peacock maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of velvety and it's really pretty with these purple backsides to the leaves. I was looking for buggies and trying to show you maybe if you could see how velvety the leaves are, but it's really hard to tell. Super pretty, probably a pain in the butt. I don't know. I just equate velvety leaves, especially on a Calathea, <laughs> to mean that the plant is a little bit more finicky. I don't know what it is about the velvet leaf plants. Uh, they're beautiful, but usually when it's philodendron, any aeroid, anthurium, usually it's more of a pain in the butt. And I'm not exactly sure why. It's not the case for Hoya. But anyway, ZZ Chameleon over here. Global Green Pothos, they had some Baltic Blues hiding in here, Monstera Peru, these are all 1998 from Costa Farms. Trending Tropicals, they have the Xanthosoma Lindenii, really pretty, kind of Calathea-like in terms of care, Alocasia, it's similar to Alocasia as well in terms of watering and all of that good stuff. So if you like plants like that, this is definitely a good choice for you. It kind of looks like a zebra plant, but not as finicky as a zebra plant. So it's a good alternative if that's something that you like. So really cute little ferns over here. Not sure exactly what type, but I do like a good fern. And then they have this really cute Maranta with some surprise variegation. So never mad about that. Checking out all the other ones, obviously. Really cute. These are just the assorted foliage from Costa Farms, but every once in a while, a little variegated Maranta sneaks its way in with all of the regular ones. It was tempting. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to buy it, but I really don't need it. So I did leave it behind and I hope that somebody found it and was really, really excited about it. They have tons of regular ones, which are also really beautiful, but the variegated one is obviously gonna catch your eye. So, more bromeliads. No shortage of bromeliads in this Home Depot. They have a really nice neon pothos hanging out over there. And then they have a whole sea of bird of paradise. So you guys know if you have been watching my videos this year that a variegated bird of paradise is on my wish list. So. I always have to check for sport variegation whenever I'm in 
the store. And I have had people ask me, what is sport variegation? It's basically just a term that we use to describe random genetic mutations that can happen in plants that are not necessarily normal for that plant. So you might find one that just happens to genetically do something that makes variegation, but it's not a variegated plant, if that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense. If you still have questions, <laughs> just ask me. I'm happy to do a video about it. I'm sure there are videos out there, honestly, that are better at explaining it than I am. 1998 for this Syndapsis Exotica hanging basket. I don't usually see these, especially not in big hanging baskets in the big box store. So don't miss out on those if you do see one that looks good, especially for 20 bucks. So um, that is really it for what's going on over here in this section of the store. That lemon lime is really, really pretty. There's some goldfish plants and this really beautiful dark leaf philodendron arubescens. Not sure exactly which type, but it's gorgeous. And then over here we have some more of those photonias and some ivy, all of the little succulent arrangements and cute babes. They have some really interesting cacti over here. I'm never mad. I like to look at the cacti. And I do like succulents. I know they're not everybody's favorite, but I do really like them. And this variegated jade I thought was pretty. This cactus, though, you guys, is so fuzzy. Look at it. It's not just fuzzy. It's like furry. It's literally like floofy. And it's so cute. It's got little blooms. Not that pink one. That's plastic and stupid. But there were like actual little bloom buds starting on the plant and I thought it was so stinking cute. So some more cacti and succulents over here, a heart leaf, philodendron, some ferns. These are $15.98 in these hanging baskets, goldfish plant, and then they had these proven winners, assorted foliage, some pothos, spider plants. And then some Tradescantia, I think they call that one an oyster plant, if I'm not mistaken. But just your usual stuff over here, nothing really extra extraordinary. Extra extraordinary? That's not, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> some aloe and cag some fuzzy cacti over here. And then they did have these huge barrel cactus back there are gorgeous. But also these Euphorbia Chocolate Drop for $24.98. We have these and we think they're really cool and fun and kind of aggressive looking. So that is it though for the Home Depot. All right. You know what, fam? That was actually not bad. So they didn't have anything like super insane that I haven't seen before, but those big philodendron were beautiful. The syndapsis, they had lots of big floor plants, so that's nice. So, <laughs> let's hope that Lowe's has some big variegated floor plants for us to see. Okay, let's go to Lowe's. <laughs> Okay, fam. So we are now at the Lowe's in, I'm pretty sure we're back in Springfield. It's right on like the border in Massachusetts. So lots of the same stuff. <laughs> some Raffido 4 AI and things like that. Some Monstera Deliciosa over here, always looking for sport variegation. Some Dracaena trees. And then over here, we've got more bromeliads so many bromeliads, <laughs> some orchids, lots of really nice looking anthurium, all of the floor plants over here as well, the usual stuff. And then we've got the wick and grow, some tetrasperma, these aglaonema siam are looking really cute with their pink edges. I don't know what aglaonema that one is. And then they have this peperomia, some type of ripple peperomia. I call it shumi red, but I'm pretty sure Costa Farms calls it something else. So 
These are their new Wick and Grow containers. They are $20 each. They've got some really nice healthy fiddle leaf figs and tons of Bird of Paradise. So of course, again, I am searching, never not searching for sport variegation on a lot of these plants. If you guys have been around, you remember when I found my sport variegated Monstera at Lowe's here in Connecticut. It was a very exciting day. It's a beautiful plant and I can't wait to get it into the new plant room and have it on display and watch it grow. So they have this really beautiful lipstick plant over here with the pink stems. And y'all are always asking me if they're called, if I see something called Thai pink. This says pink passion and I'm curious if that's the same plant that y'all tend to call Thai pink because I'm trying to learn the difference between that and the Mona Lisa. And the only thing I can really tell is the color of those stems being more pink. So let me know in the comments below if I'm correct or not. So Calathea in the old Wick and Grow containers here, some Sago Palms, the ZZs down there, some snake plants, and then tons and tons of Fitonia. They're definitely pushing out the Fetonias. It's almost spring, you guys, and I'm so excited to see what new plants they might start throwing out there, even just in the assorted foliage. You never know what you might find. So this one is called Episcia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's really cute. And then I don't know what that one's called, but it's fuzzy some ivy, Hartley philodendron, lemon button fern, lemon lime maranta, and then some more different types of ivy, some really cute ferns. If I'm skipping over anything that you would like to know the name of, just leave me a timestamp down below and I'm happy to do my best to try and help you out. So I thought that this Rex begonia was really cute. I do really like begonia. I just have a hard time keeping them happy, especially Rex begonia, but you guys know I've got geckos. I talk about them often. I do have a video about um, planting their enclosures that I can link for you guys if you're interested in that and showing you what plants I have in there, but I've changed it quite a bit since then and the plants have grown out, but let me not go on a tangent. I, I think I might get this begonia <laughs> because I want to put it in one of their enclosures and test it out and see how it does. So more hanging plants over here. This is a purple waffle plant. I've never seen it hanging like that, I don't think, or maybe I just didn't notice. Whatever in the heck and bob, this is cod Codonanthe, maybe. Mm, I might be making that up. They have this cute marble queen over here that is really beautiful and i'm definitely interested in getting a new one of these because i'm not gonna lie i've kind of been neglecting mine and it doesn't look great i cut it back recently and i might need to buy another one just to kind of add to it to give it a little bit of life or i don't know maybe it'll just bounce back in the spring and be fine so Really cute hanging orchid cactus, looking all curly. They have some nice dogtail cactus here as well. And then a lot of the usual stuff here from Live Trends and Urban Gar Urban Guard. No, what's the name of it? Why is my brain not working? <laughs> oh my goodness, Urban Jungle. They have these cute um palms for $22.98 please don't judge me my brain's not braining today not that it does very well most days but today it's just like specifically not great some Haworthia for $16.98 and I thought these pots were interesting I'm not sure if I like them but they're interesting they have some air plants here that I was considering but they they don't feel great or healthy. I was kind of squeezing them and they just felt really dry and underwatered, if that's a thing. So ugh, I kind of wish I had bought this Marble Queen. Look at how white and creamy it is. It's absolutely gorgeous, but 
there's never a shortage of Marble Queens and Snow Queens in the stores, so I'm just going to be patient and wait until after we move, and then I will figure it out. So, some more hanging baskets here. They had a couple of different Syngonium types. I don't know what they are, but this one's kind of green, and this one, I think, is a Maria. It's got more like maroonish leaves and pinky maroon kind of stems. And then this one might be like a berry illusion. Maybe it's got more pink on like the inside of the leaf. Some cute little bonsais, more anthurium, more of the older wick and grow containers with some pothos in them. The old ones I think were $15.98, so they definitely raised the price on those. And then this one, you guys, this rabbit foot fern was so cute. I'm editing this and I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I buy you? Because I'm trying not to buy a bunch of plants. $24.98. Look at how cute and full it is. I don't hate the pot. It's not my favorite color, but I would have tried to swap it out for a white one. I won't lie. I'm not against swapping out the pots if it's like within the same collection. Do you know what I mean? And it's the same price and all that same, same pot, just different color. So some cute little springy pots over here with the little flowers on them from live trends these are absolutely adorable i love spring colors i love spring decor i love all the cute little bunnies everything is just absolutely adorable these are new self-watering little pots as well that i thought were kind of odd looking but still cute adorable little bunny air plants over here and i just can't handle it i also don't think i've seen these pots before or i just don't remember seeing them before but i thought they were cute and there's a little global green in this one and they're from live trends and they are if i could get this tag to cooperate 16.98 <laughs> so really cute let me know if you like these colors or not i am a huge fan of like more pastel kind of muted colors they're not as intense and they don't stress me out as much so i enjoy them they have some cebu blue in these cute hanging baskets back here and then i thought that this little exotica was absolutely stinking adorable in that cute little hanging pot so i'm sure somebody has snagged that little cutie and then they did have some pretty sad clearance going on over here some calathea these sad little ivy that i think are really cute though because they look like little dinosaur feet or something some tradescantia they got that strawberry begonia there tons of sticks that used to be fiddle leaf figs and then this himalamina is actually not in bad shape she just needs to be cleaned up a bit and watered maybe repotted and she would totally be fine. <laughs> and then just a quick peek at the cacti and succulents over here. These sedum were in bloom. And I just think that they're so weird looking and cute. And I love it. And then, of course, up in the front of the store in Lowe's, usually they have the little setup out by the self-checkout counter. They had a lot of the usual stuff over here, some coffee plants in these self-watering pots from Live Trends, some more rabbit foot ferns, and they had a couple of different alocasia varieties, some Haworthia, more Syndapsis, and that's it for Lowe's. Okay, fam. So that was the Lowe's in Springfield-ish, Massachusetts. They didn't have anything new but they did have a pretty decent selection of hanging baskets and I did snag this little Rex begonia because I've been wanting to put begonias in my geckos enclosures Ooh, that sad little leaf <laughs> and I thought that this one would be a cute way to start to see if we can even keep the Rex begonias happy in there before we go crazy spending a bunch of money on really fancy weird begonias because I would love to do that this hair is like nobody told me you guys you didn't tell me this hair was sticking out right here look like a sideburn <laughs> anyway <laughs> um 
so yeah that is it for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me if you did you should definitely give this a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button if you want to be um an, a member an official plant fam member and get some extra content and things like that um and then yeah there's there's a super thanks button <laughs> my brain's not working it's fine um, and if you guys can engage with this video by leaving me a thumbs up and a comment, leave me some, um, emojis. I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head. Is there a dinosaur emoji? If there is, leave me one of those. I don't know. I was just trying to think of something obscure. There's obviously nothing around me right now that <laughs> should make me think of a dinosaur. But anyway, I love you guys so, so very much. I, um, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you will come and hang out with me again for the next one. So I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Hopefully it's nicer than it has been here. It's been very rainy and, um, don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water and I will see you.